Hi, it's Sabrina with Charlotte In Crowd, and I'm here at the 2017 How Can I Be Down Entertainment Conference with the beautiful and oh-so-sweet Jessica Moss. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Sabrina. I'm great. How are you? Are you so chipper? <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Now I feel great. I was just like so-so, and the espresso was helping, but now I feel absolutely Good wonderful. Morning. Good morning. Are you excited about speaking today? I am. I'm very excited. You really are. Mm -hmm. What are you going to talk about? Tell uh, us. Let's see. I hope to talk about arts and culture. I, ha I hope mm -hmm. to talk about the local landscape of, of Charlotte. Okay. Um, I, ha I hope to talk about opportunities for advancement in the arts. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Because you are a what? A singer, a dancer, or a painter? I'm a painter. Oh, my goodness. I guessed that I was <laughs> right. I was just throwing out stuff there. <laughs> so what kind of style do you have for your painting are you modern are you that's really all i know no sure okay because uh, like futuristic to... would be after modern i don't know okay but okay. I mean, we can have a whole art history thing in a little bit oh uh, please do don't that. i will um, fail i did no, fail that like, class it'll be fun. i still fail that uh, class <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what kind of work do i do i like to work from life i like to work from the figure so like really there's a model setting up there i like to draw yes. from the model work just from go life. with it yeah that do kind you of like thing. like 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 big crayons you yeah. do crayons mostly I or mean, actually you're doing really well like like you're using your and I'm not even to draw. I'm not even left-handed <laughs> this is good this is a circle this is it. <laughs> ow it hurts so bad so you just get in there do you like oil water base yeah. or crayon look at you're doing great I like, <laughs> I I like uh, oil based <laughs> materials so often oil oil paints really um, yeah this kind of thing okay have you ever had a situation where you were painting something and uh, you had paint on you, you didn't know, and you damaged something in your home. All the time. Uh, I don't. Really? I don't think I own one piece <laughs> of clothing that doesn't have some kind of medium or polymer or paint or oh something my goodness. on it. Oh my goodness! What about furniture? Have you damaged furniture? Everything. Everything really? between the artwork and my dog, it is pretty much everywhere. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Wow, amazing. When you're painting, we're supposed to talk about other things, but I'm so excited no, about no, the painting okay. thing. So when you're painting, yes. how do you feel about it? Do you just wake up one day and say, today I'm painting? Or do you look at someone and say, okay, I want to paint her Ooh, tomorrow? Wow. Like, where does the energy come hmm. from? I think it could be both, right? Sometimes you see something and you're just inspired by it. Right. Right. Um, sometimes you have a particular craving for something. That's you know? true. So I think it can go either way. But um, that chance or, uh, you know, being able to think about things from all of those different perspectives mm -hmm. is kind of what makes it cool. Do you like when people say, Jessica, I need you to paint this? No. And now I need it by, I need it in two weeks. No. Yeah. But it happens, right? It happens. And that's Even kind for of, artists, right? That's kind of what I hope to talk about today, right? Like yes. The business of this practice exactly. and how you balance those types of right. things, right? Between what you want when to you do. When you want that album to come out versus mm -hmm. there's a soundtrack we need done for this movie. Deadlines, you need to, deadlines, yeah. deadlines. That's and good. I think you can tie as, that in well. Working as an artist, mm -hmm. you know, often we don't necessarily abide by mm -mm. or, um, <laughs> no. um, you know, <laughs> are loyal not. to our deadlines. And so, yeah. you it's, know. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, you want to feel it. You want to wake up and feel it, or maybe not. Whenever you stop, you stop. People don't get yes. that part about arts, too. It's true. It could be 2 a.m., and you're done, so you'll stop. Yes. Or you just did like this, that motion we had, and, yeah. and now you're done. Or it could be 2 a.m., and that's the moment that you're most inspired, right? And you got to keep going. So you stay up all night. You make this piece. You make this song. You make this painting, whatever it is that you're developing. Yes. You spend all night working on it. Then, oh, goodness, reality clicks in, right? right. And it's 8 a.m., and I have to go to work. Yeah, that whole work thing is really lame. <laughs> I don't know why we need to do it. Do you, what, what is work? Why? It's not fair. What is work? People that are artistic in any fashion should not have to work. There I needs agree. to be a law. So whatever president abides to that, I'm going to abide to voting for that okay. person. Okay. That's it. That's very simple. I mean, I should, right? I should run because I'm telling you, we would have so many people voting for me. Okay. Well, maybe it's that, maybe the new law. Okay. I am, you know, Jessica mm -hmm. Moss 2020. Uh, I'm running with Kanye West. Uh, we're going to be on a ticket together. So remember this. But Amazing. Uh, the law Hello. that we're trying to put into place is yes. that if you are a practicing artist, mm -hmm. that you can literally clock in and clock out of your art making. And it is an excuse for everyone every other lab you. laborious process that you Thank might have you. to do throughout the That's day. So, right uh, West Moss She's 2020. She's preaching, oh my goodness. Now let's go back <laughs> to what the heck we were talking about. Okay, so today, <laughs> that was good. It was some good conversations here. So as far as what you're gonna tell these people today, now yes. you have people that are singers, 
I assume rappers, dancers. I know there's some people that want to be in reality TV. Yes. You're doing painting because yeah. you come from a painting world. You're, you're in a different type of art. Do you feel like those arts are connected? Do you feel like they're, in some way, what you can tell them today is going to inspire them? Because they might look at you like, well, she's a painter. She just does stuff with her hands. I'm a rapper. I mean, mm. they do like this uh, 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 sure, uh, sure. all the time. Sure. Exactly. But how are you going to tie the two together? Well, I, I think it's inevitable, right? Okay. Like the arts are an umbrella. Okay. And regardless of your specific discipline, right? Yes. Whether it's like painting mm -hmm. or it's music or it's dance or it's theater, uh, the process is the same, right? Okay. Often you have to develop something, you research it, you think about it. That's then true. from that, you make it. And right. then from that, there's this moment of reflection or like a postmortem. Right. So whether it's a painting mm -hmm. that's on a wall, right? That you're thinking about research searching, developing, making, and then reflecting on, or a song that you've been doing the same process with. Yes. The over skills are transferable, okay. right? Okay. Uh, the arts in general is what this conversation is about. The arts and I, in general. And I hope that the goal, right, is mm -hmm. that by having some sort of acknowledgement about painting exactly. um, or about music, that right. then these two worlds start to have they come in together. A little bit more of a connection to right. each other, right? Right. Or at least the individuals who are involved in each group start to understand each other a bit more. That's true. Right? That's true. So you're not coming in to speak to people that are doing uh, painting or anything that's cr uh, creative in that regard. You're speaking to everybody as yeah, a whole. Yeah, this is a blanket, right? Like It, it this doesn't is, matter. It doesn't matter. What we're here for is culture. That's um, true. And none of this can survive without the bevy of culture, that right? That is true. So that is true. I need the artists. In all, right. in all capacities, right, to be making art. That's true. <laughs> and one thing for sure is that the album covers have changed. Mm. Now you do see like artwork on an album cover yeah. more and more. It used to be in a very uh, eclectic type of thing where a Tribe Called Quest, they did it, Erica Badu did it, but now it's like more entertainers are looking to not just put their face on there like, hey, it's me, but yeah. they're putting some artwork in the album covers, which is good. Yes. So there's, it's, it's uh, almost, there's a lane for that now, mm -hmm. which is kind of great for you, right? It's become kind of trendy, right? Mm -hmm. So we see, we see this moment of hip hop <laughs> culture being brought into the museum, right? And that really creates... <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> They're just gonna have to cut that part. Okay, um, back on track. <laughs> we see this moment, right, of these two worlds really being blurred. Right. Uh, so Picasso Baby, right? Or uh, 444 yes, that just came out recently, right? Yeah. Where Jay-Z is talking about the value of artwork, yeah, right? And important. we're seeing these lines blurred. Or where Kanye West has been, Vanessa Beecroft mm -hmm. come in as a fine artist, right? I know you've seen this. Okay, let me break this down here. Break it down. Uh, okay, she's Vanessa Beecroft. Go on. <laughs> Vanessa Beecroft <laughs> was an artist. Um, she is maybe in her 40s, 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you've seen those images of Kanye West that comes out onto a stage, almost like a fashion show, right? right? Or like what he did with... Um, with the Yeezus line, right? Yes. With those people in mass, right. where they're almost dressed completely monochromatically, right. right? With like maybe a pop of neon on the Yeah, like it was shot. very different. It was different. But that was art, wasn't it? Well, okay. Well, yes, right? Everything is art. <laughs> That's arguable. Um, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Um, but yes, what this was, right? Like in, in this moment in time, mm -hmm. it was Kanye West, uh, hip hop mogul, right? That's right. Um, introducing fine art into the conversation okay so this was a collaboration between them right and sure you might not know vanessa beecroft by name but you know her work right i know her work you've seen this before <laughs> you've you seen know it. her name you have to know her name but I only know the because work. kanye brought it into our world right. right he made it so he made it he made it apparent exactly and and change like shift the paradigm right so now we're having a different conversation we are so you mm -hmm. think more of that can happen? I, I hope so. I think there's immense potential for it to happen, and it would be a missed opportunity if it didn't. Okay. So when you go to speak in just a few, well, yeah, very soon. I know. I'm probably late. Oh, yeah. No, no, not late yet. Okay. Um, and I'm glad I can tell time because it's analog and it's always been a struggle. Let me see yeah, it. Look at that. Like, what is going it's on like there? 11. Is this oh, right? Five? You supposed so to, the thing that's going around is the second right. Okay. Okay, I'm done with it. So, um. <laughs> 11 <or> 6. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. We, we didn't need any help. <laughs> okay, we did need help. A little so, bit. I was only off by two minutes. When you go over there, what's going to yeah. be your focus? In like, in like one sentence or two, what is your focus? What do you want the people to understand about you and what you want them to know today? Ooh. What do you want them to get? One thing. Drive it home, baby. One what thing. is it? Yeah. 
Uh, let's say the important one thing. Can I say two things? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Two, two things. Breaking the no, rules. No more, than, no more than that. Okay, no more than that. Um, one is to understand the history, right? Um, that none of this is new and that we don't have to continuously oh. reinvent the wheel. I like that. Um, but that okay. we can learn from each other, right? Okay. Um, and the experiences that we all have and find ways to emulate them in your own life or, or life or build on them, right? So, okay. That's um, deep. I, like I don't that. need to, I don't need to start at the bottom. Right. Because I have my whole team behind me, right? Okay, okay. Um, so then that second thing is how can I learn as an individual mm -hmm. that my entire community is my team? Right. Whoa. That we okay, don't have hold on, to. Hold on, hold on. This is getting too deep. All right. All right, Farrakhan. We All don't right. have to. What right, does yeah, that mean? That's right. Nation building. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to uh, tear each other down Ooh, or, or okay. create or create distinctions. Yeah. We can be one entire community yeah. supporting each other, growing yeah. and building together yeah. as a unit. Yeah. Okay. Can I go over there and hear her speak? Because yeah, I don't want to be stuck in this chair. Sort of I want to hear what she has to say. It sounds we'll amazing. It it's going to be so deep. I He's nodding so. his head. He's not going to let me go. I am deep. It's okay. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell the world? No, uh, I'm so happy to meet you and to me? be here at the How Can I Be Down weekend event. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I am Thank too. you to Will Jenkins and Mr. Kerry J. King for hosting us here at Club One today. Amazing. Thank you, Peter Thomas, for having us. And I'm just, I'm excited. I just <laughs> thought of something. I have yeah. a question for you. This is going to be totally off the cuff. Mm -hmm. I've done it to everybody so far. Okay. Has nothing to do with what we talked about. Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Burger King or McDonald's go. McDonald's. Easy. McDonald's, okay. McDonald's, all right, easy. all right. Well that was that was fine. Okay. I don't want it my way. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't care for it, you know? And it's like the flavor is good, but the fries, the just the texture is it's just, true. But you can't have cold McDonald's fries. That's nope. the thing. Like once you got a window. You have to stand there like, excuse me, I'm sorry, I need hot fries. What? I need hot fries, fries. ma'am. I yeah, an extra salt, please. Hot fries. All right, we're done here. <laughs> I am Sabrina with Charlotte and Crowd, and this is the twenty seventeen How Can I Be Down Entertainment Conference. And this is the wonderful, beautiful, my new sweetie pie. Oh, yeah. Jessica Moss. Yay. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, guys.